So I was at a place locally and uh, getting some stuff and I happened to see they had gotten some wheel uh, tools in and one of them that they had was similar to this the difference was it had an end cap that you could take off and it had the quarter inch hex bits inside of it and I thought that was interesting but for what I thought this could be used for it was a little bulky so I went to Amazon and, and, and looked and found this same thing other than the fact that it doesn't have the cap that comes off you can't store anything inside this and I like this better and so this is what I ended up buying so this is the Wea soft finish bit holder model 28103 and what I liked about it was the fact that it had this rubberized this black surface is rubberized it had a nice grip to it so uh, and for something that I wanted to change this into uh, adapt this to something else I thought this would work out great so here's what I wanted to, to, to change it to this is what I use when I tighten the clutches on my astrophysics Mach 2 equatorial telescope mount and what I wanted to replace was this part now this is really nice it's from snap-on and I actually have the older version of this which is more rounded doesn't have these cutouts in it but I wanted to keep that for automotive use and, and buy a new one just to keep with the uh, telescope stuff so what I wanted to do was then go, go from this to this but you'll notice this has a quarter inch square drive end this is a quarter inch hex but I already knew when I saw this how I could change it so the ob obvious difference is uh, as I stated square drive and hex these takes the hex bits this takes square drive accessories so I immediately thought of well why don't I just buy one of these socket adapters that has the quarter inch uh, square drive end on it and the other end has the hex that would fit into the your uh, drills or impact drivers and so I got this off Amazon when I ordered those uh, the Wea handle and uh, this was just a little over two dollars So as you can see, by using that adapter, I was able to go from hex bit to square drive. Now to accomplish this, it was very simple. What I did is I took the adapter, and in this particular case, the adapter would fit in here uh, just up to about there. So I measured that distance, and I came down that distance from here down and just shy so so whatever that was about a sixteenth maybe three thirty seconds less from here down marked it and then used a cutoff tool an abrasive cutoff tool and cut this off which when you were done left you with something that was only about that long so you would have the remainder of this section here fitting into this which is what I wanted so once you've accomplished that this is what you'll get it'll look just like this the next thing I did was take my two-part epoxy you can use whatever brand you want and I took a toothpick I mixed up a very small portion mixed it up then I took a toothpick and place some inside the drive opening and put a little bit on the end of the uh, bit adapter and then you'll put it in here like this now what's going to happen is you will get oozing out of here okay you're going to get oozing out of there that's no big deal so after you get that together you're going to want to have some kind of a clamp ready and then I just put this on here like this and then I brought it together clamped it down then I took some paper towels 
that I'd put lacquer thinner on and wiped all around here, got all the excess off. You want to do that quick. So you want to have your clamp ready, you want to have everything you need ready, your, your lacquer thinner. Uh, I find that the best to clean off excess before it dries. And then uh, wipe it down, make sure there's no nothing else on it. And all you'll get once it dries is just a little bead around here, which is absolutely fine. That's perfect. I just didn't want any over the whole thing. It, it lo it'll look like hell, and it, you, you, you don't want that. So I left it clamped up overnight, and... Uh, when you're done, obviously, you get this, and it works out great. Now, the only negative, if that's what I want to call it, is it does add some additional length. Whereas here, with the snap-on, your attachment went on immediately right after the end of the handle. Here, you can see it's going to be a little further, a little longer. But in my particular case, it didn't hurt anything. So here guys, you see it in use in one of the clutch locks on my telescope and it works very good and I like the fact that it has the rubberized surface. This will work good in the cold and if some of these clutches, if it's turned down this way, that's why I've got it longer so I can reach up in here to the clutch and I've got the rubber on there so it doesn't scratch anything. I've also bought an extra one of these because I'm going to make up another one just like this and keep it in my toolbox with my tools and keep this one specifically with my telescope equipment.